intense calculus starts now. So hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. It is time for an honest review of A-Level Maths. This is my fourth video in my honest review series because I did four A-Levels. Um, there will be no more because there's no more honest reviews I can give of any other A-Level, believe it or not. I'm not smart enough to do five. I'm also, yeah, that's not happening. But anyway, um, A-Level Maths. This was one of my favourites. <laughs> well, I keep saying this, one of my favourite subjects. I did four and I loved them all. Um, so yeah, A-Level Maths was one of my favourite subjects. Um, and Maths has been one of my favourite subjects since fourth year, since GCSEs. Um, before GCSEs, Maths would not have been one of my favourite subjects whatsoever, but it gradually grew on me and now I did A-Level Maths and further Maths, so I must like it somewhat. Um, but today, in today's video, we're going to go through my four categories that I've gone through in every other video in this series to give you my honest review. So we'll have course content, favourite topic, least favourite topic, and the exams. So, without further ado, let's start into one, the course content. If you did GCSE Further Maths, then your first year will not be a problem. Absolutely no problem. GCSE Further Maths introduces you to calculus. It introduces you to hard algebraic fractions, it introduces you to lots of things that will be handy and come in useful when you get to maths. Um, for example, in Ordinary Maths GCSE you don't do any mechanics, but Further Maths GCSE does do a bit of mechanics and you have a whole unit of mechanics at A-Level Maths. So the mechanics at A-Level Maths at AS or your first year is very similar to your GCSE Further Maths except it goes a little bit further. So if you've done GCSE Further Maths you will have absolutely no problem in first year, you just need to, you know, keep going away. It does advance ever so slightly from further maths, obviously, because that's GCSE, this is an A-level, but, you know, you it goes it goes slightly better, um, it goes slightly further and further on. If not, if you didn't do GCSE further maths, don't worry. I was in a class of people who did GCSE further maths and people who didn't, and everyone survived the jump. Um, Non-further maths people did take a little bit longer to grasp some of the concepts that the GCSE further maths people had to grasp the year before, but you know what? It's not that bad. It's actually not that difficult of a jump. Um, if you put your mind to it and if you're like dedicated to learn all the bits. So your first year, which is AS, introduces a lot of concepts which are then extended at A2. So you're gonna start into calculus. You're gonna do some pretty basic calculus. And then when you get into A2, you do a lot more calculus. And if you do end up doing a little further maths, you go, a lot further with the calculus. I mean, some of the calculus you do at A2 ordinary maths, we had to do at AS further maths, so it was kind of like making your way through that maze, because um, I did both in the same year. So yeah, that was a bit fun for me, but honestly, the jump isn't too bad. You'll get used to it, you'll get used to the different types of maths that you're doing, there's loads of it, like there's actually loads of different types of maths that you do, so if you don't like one part, you may like another part. Um, but there is a massive jump between your first year of A-level maths and your second year of A-level maths, like a massive jump. Um, it, it's actually kind of weird, because for me going from GCSE further maths to AS maths, there was barely a jump. Um, and then I was going into doing AS maths and AS further maths. So, there was a bit of a jump to AS Further Maths, of course, because it's Further Maths, but the jump between AS Further Maths to second year AS Maths, or A2 Maths, was kind of big, and the jump between a AS Maths and A2 Maths was also kind of big, so be prepared for a big jump at second year. A lot of people actually drop out after the first couple of weeks of your second year because there's so much. Um, if you're doing four subjects and you're going to drop one, Maths is usually the one people pick. I mean, if you want to, go ahead, but you get used to it. Um, it's just there's a lot. There's a lot in second year and second year is extremely calculus heavy so if calculus is not your topic, um, yeah I will warn you there's a lot of it. Like most of it is calculus in second year. Most of you pure, at least not mechanics and statistics, that's always different but a lot of pure, a lot of calculus. So let's move on to number two. What was or what were my favourite topics in a level maths. So I love calculus. I am one of those people that actually love it. I love doing all the different parts, manipulating things, um, you know, going forwards and backwards with your differentiation and integration. 
integration by parts and integration by substitution were my favourites. Um, they're just they're the kind of thing that I find so ex- exciting and when you get to the answer it's really satisfying because um, usually if you have a calculator you can check them uh, if you have this calculator or if you have this one um, you can check these things. There's also another one which I actually don't have which is the one above the other calculator that you can also check things on um, and if you check it and your answer lines up with what you've got it's the most satisfying feeling ever to know that you've got it right like you know it's right because you've got the answer um yeah i love those also differential equations in ordinary maths i loved we had a nice 10 mark one in our final exam which was really nice it was different but it was really nice um i think differential equations are really satisfying to solve as well and once you learn that method and once you know what you're doing and why you're doing it then they just flow out of your mind and onto the page um I actually really enjoyed my second year of maths much more than my first year. I think the first year I got a bit bored because it was so similar to GCSE for other maths. But second year, pretty much everything was new. Pretty much everything was calculus. Everything was exciting. And I absolutely loved it. Um, so yeah, second year was my favourite out of the two years. But first year, maybe some other people's favourite out of the two years. Now let's get on to number three, my least favourite topic. Graph transformations. No. I don't know what it is about graph transformations. I could just never get it into my head and work out what exactly they were asking. My brain could not compute all the different parts of graph transformations. I don't understand why, because I love graphs. But I just, I could not. Graph transformations, Um, if you haven't done the graph transformations yet, you do. And um, the double graph transformations at A-level. Um, I see, I was able to do them in further miles when we did them with matrices, but <laughs> when we did them with like, just equations, my mind was like, nope, what? Um, another one I found kind of annoying was the binomial distribution. It wasn't difficult. I just got it wrong by doing stupid things so many times because you have to be so careful with numbers in the binomial distribution because there's just so much going on. In your first year, you'll do the first way. In your second year, you'll do the second way of doing it. And whew, it, it's kind of difficult. Um, well, it's difficult to just remember every single thing every single time. So many stupid mistakes were made if you want me to do a video on how to avoid stupid mistakes because I learned how to do that. I'll do that. Um, but yeah, so many stupid mistakes in binomial distribution. Okay, let's move on to number four. The exam. Concentration is key. I think I've said this in so many of these videos. Concentration is key. Basically, how the maths exams work is they start out with kind of straightforward questions and you get further and further on They get harder and harder and harder until your last two questions are maybe something very different, something you've not seen before or some weird way of applying what you know. Um, You could get something like someone trying to make a knife. The knife can be modelled by these two equations, find the area of the knife, which is a nice question. Or you could get something like um, a lamp cover. What are those called? I don't know. A lamp cover... Um, can be modelled by this equation. Find the inner volume of the lamp cover or a cereal bowl. Find the volume of the cereal bowl given by this equation. Um, those things are kind of nice. You'll get weird things like solve or integrate this and it's a weird integration by substitution or something like that because it could be worth 12 marks or something. Um, so they get harder and harder and harder but actually I find them as exams okay. I kind of liked them. Um, I thought they were nice whenever you could get the end and check. Because this calculator, like I said, this calculator is actually my baby. If I did not have this calculator, I don't know what I would have done. Um, Yeah, I love it so much. It's in colour as well. It's great. Um, Yeah, expensive, but very much worth it for further miles. Maybe not for ordinary miles, I'd say get the um, class whiz. I think it's called Casio class whiz. Get that, it's only like £20, it's not that bad. Um... This one was 60. Well, 60 used and I got it second hand because I was not paying 110 pounds. But anyway, um, exam. Practice, practice, practice. You want to be able to go through an exam and know exactly what type of question it is as you're going through, exactly what to do for each question as you're going through without really having to think about it so that you can spend the time working through it, spend the time not making stupid mistakes and spend the time checking over your paper because something I always do in maths is do the paper and then redo the entire paper. Obviously you've done it before so you're going to be slightly faster at it um, but redo it and if my answers line up, great. If they don't then I've made a mistake in either one of them. Um, so 
that is a good way of you know checking that you're confident with what you've done checking that you're happy with what you've done and hopefully then you can get you know a better mark and so there have been many times when I've found a really stupid mistake in one of my answers and I've been able to correct it which has been really nice and then another tip would be do as many past papers as possible and um, like do as many because you're going to get an idea of all the different types of questions all the different types of hard questions as well because those hard questions could be the differential between getting an A and a star or a B and an A or a C and a B um it, that difficult question you could get just enough marks to bring you over a grade boundary in that because there's so many marks so yeah past paper questions do them you'll get you'll even get used to all the basic questions or some of the weird questions that come up now and again that you're like i've never seen something like that you look at it you work out how to do it and you know for the next time so those yeah past paper questions are really useful also minimize your stupid mistakes um i did that by going slightly slower ever so slightly slower and really just working out um, and checking with the calculator. Learn how to check. If you don't know how to use your calculator to check your answers, learn. Um, I, I would tell you every single way of checking, but there are so many different topics that require different methods of checking, which I worked out by myself throughout the years of doing maths. But if you work them out yourself, or even for a couple of topics, work out how to check them, things become so much easier because you can do the question, use your calculator to check, and then you know you've got it right. Um, if that's integration, then I just use the integration button on the calculator. If it's something to do with graphs, then I can plot the graphs because this calculator has a graphing function. Um, whatever it is, learn how to check because if you learn how to check on your calculator, you can be sure that you've got marks. Um, because if your answer lines up, then you have to get full marks. Right answer, full marks. Unless it's integration, in which case, don't forget plus C. But anyway, that is all the time I have for today. If you're doing A-level maths, and you're starting very soon, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear. I'd love to hear if you want any more tips for A-level subjects, um, as I have finished now. Um, yeah, let me know all that in the comments down below. But don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below yet again. I love reading your comments. I love responding to comments. So comment, comment, comment. Um, but thank you all for watching. And I will see you all again next time. Bye.